Hi, welcome back to Fly TV Squeeze. I'm Daniel Bergman. And I'm Pontus Sjölund. And uh, today we thought uh, Pontus should try uh, fishing from a belly boat for the first time. Yeah, I've watched you now <laughs> fish these trouts out here yeah. when we filmed the Fly TV trout episode. Yeah. And it just looks really fun. Yeah, it is, so. I can tell you. <laughs> the casting you already have more or less under control. Yeah, he just taught me. Um, about a month ago, yeah. where we fly fish for pike. Yeah. You can watch that film down here, in this link. Um, so that was about a month ago. Yeah. Uh, I can cast, but I'm not a pro. No. <laughs> but I can You're... get to fly out. I think. Exactly. So I thought uh, I would just go through some basics uh, when you're fishing the belly boat. It's, it's more or less just to jump in, but there are a few tricks that you can, can actually use to make it easier. Yeah. So let's get these babies in the water. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Put the flippers so, on. <clears throat> yeah, just put them on the on the wader shoes. Yeah. Cool. Maybe after the ring is in the water. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of <laughs> sort of hard to walk with them actually. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in the water. Are they on the handles or something? Or is it just to Grab them wherever. You, yeah, like you that. have handles on the inside there actually. Okay. But uh, just get it in, it ain't heavy. Oh, it's really light actually. Yeah. And that's oh. good because it's, it makes this possible to bring it out even if you're going out with a chopper. Okay, uh, you take the line tray away, first of all. Yeah. And get in. Okay. Did you leave your flippers on shore? I'll have the flippers here for you. <laughs> Stay put, I'll get them. Yeah, this feels a little ineffective. <laughs> <laughs> no thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should hide them. Yeah. Ah. Just like that. Perfect. I feel like a duck. Yeah, you look like a duck. We we'll start with this. Are you. Uh, Right or left hand caster? Right. Right hand? Yeah. Then we put the rods facing your left oh, side. So, so you cast away when you cast. Exactly, okay. you don't cast over them. Yeah. And then you take the landing net, just put it oh, easy on to top access. of them so you can get Yeah. It's easier to get a get it quick if you wanna land a fish. Feels great. And this uh, one? You put it over your, your knees or your thighs. So you have sort of a line tray to, to keep ah. track of the the line. And this one down there? Yeah. Normally you should actually have like a inflatable collar or something when, when hitting the water. But we, we sort of forgot that uh, to bring it. Uh, but on the other hand we have 20 degrees in the surface water. It's yeah. a small lake and we're, we're several guys. Uh, so we'll manage anyway. But uh, if you're going out alone or if... If you're going out in like November or something, it should be a good idea. Yeah, bring a float vest or an inflatable collar or something. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's get out. Yeah. I'll get my flippers on and get going. Oh, this was fun. <laughs> Just like snorkeling. Yeah, easy. Like try, this? Uh, try, try to keep the feet a bit further down in the water. Then you get a longer stroke and more power. And uh, you won't do so much noise in the surface to scare the fish, actually. Ah. It's easier to turn and easier to get some speed going as well. It's becoming more deep quite fast. So okay. I think we should get out a little bit and... We have to cast out here. Yeah, exactly. And one thing you can think about when, when fishing from the belly boat is, mind the wind. Uh, if you have the wind coming from this side, you don't want to be casting like this, because then the line will blow onto you, yeah. straight in your face. Okay. Uh, so it's better to actually have the, try to have the wind in the back oh. or on your other side. So for example, we got the wind coming from this angle now, so you want to be casting either that direction yeah. or that direction okay with the wind coming in from your left since you're a right cast right hand caster yeah like this there we go one thing you can do is try keeping your rod a bit higher 
than what you would do if you're fishing for a, from a boat for pike. Yeah. You don't uh, want to hit closer the... to the surface now. Exactly. So try keeping your rod tip high in the in the back cast. Yeah. Otherwise, it will get down, fall down in the water, and <laughs> if you're if you're fishing a magic head, uh, it might even flip. Okay. Uh, flip the magic head back. Yeah, I felt that now that yeah. it touched the water. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> How long did you say you've been doing this? A month? <laughs> one and a half? <laughs> I've never fly fished before since before that one month ago, but I've watched a lot of fly fishing guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Do as you have seen people do. Yeah. I think I hooked up to a little bigger fish here. Might be personal record trout. Yay! <laughs> Seems to be a good paddle on that boy. Yeah. yeah. Good fish. So this is definitely my biggest trout ever. It's a long, nice fish. Yeah. It's just awesome to catch this one from, from a flow tube, a better boat. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Bye-bye, <laughs> baby. Yeah, this clear <laughs> water is just awesome. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. Whoop! Fish on. Oh, that one looks bigger. Yeah. Ooh. It's a better fish. Ooh. Is it a really good one? Hard to say. They're so strong. Ooh. Look That's at that nasty. paddle. Whoa. <laughs> Great to catch a fish like that from a float tube. Yeah. Awesome, man. Ooh, come on, baby! Whoa! Whoa. That's a big fish. Look at that guy. It's a real beauty. Look on the magic head. Yeah. They seem to like these magic heads. I wonder how old that guy is. Must how be. long has he been swimming around here? He's been swimming here for maybe... Maybe longer than you've been swimming around yeah. <laughs> at all here in the world.